Where do we start? Where do we start? <laughs> disappointing end to a amazing season. Extremely disappointing, extremely frustrating. And um, despite Lamar having a, a playoff, uh, a great playoff stat line, I'm gonna take a, a little notion from Shannon Sharp. Those numbers, those are empty calories, so to speak. A lot of that came when the game was, I don't say out of reach, but on the verge of, the game was out of reach. The game was out of reach. But so what I'm gonna do here today is, um, and I'm still processing trying to get out of this funk, is give you the four plays that I thought really like changed the game and made it a, a loss for us. Uh, so without further ado, let's, let's, let's get right into that. Um, again, if your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, um, like button also, comment on the woods. And, um, you know, if you see this before nine on Wednesday, I'll have a, a live stream going and you can, can you can, uh, actually call in and, and talk with me and we can talk about the game and the future of our team and, and, and anything, anything Ravens. So um, let's get into these four plays and, and, and go from there. All right. Uh, his first play, which is obviously the um, interception. Let it run through first, and I'll kind of come back and talk about it. Five-man protection. Had five guys out in the route. All right, and we get that bogus 15-yard penalty right there at the end. All right, so... What's going to happen is you got two tight ends at the top of the screen. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. For those that can't see. In one second. Bear with me. Almost there. Bam. Now I'm there. Alright. Two tight ends up here. Both of them are going to release on like a um, drag route and like a, maybe a over. And you're going to have, um, I can't remember who this is. I think basically trying to clear out that area for him. So here's your drag, here's your over, here's this guy clearing out, Bork is clearing out, and you gotta think this is Ingram flaring out the backfield. So, with that being said, he's covered, he's covered, he's covered, and Ingram's covered. You got a free safety in the middle of the field. Mark, uh, I think this Andrews looks covered. When you see from the back view, he actually starts to separate from this guy. So, we, he's the right. The read's right. This is the one guy that's open. This is the one guy that's open. Tip ball, interception. So, the read's fine. The execution was not fine. Ball's a little high. So, let's look at, from this back view, look at the mechanics. See, look at Lamar's mechanics. And let's see if we can see his progression as this play, um, you know, progresses. Oh, snap. Eyes down the middle of the field, so I think he's trying to hold the safety. Now his eyes comes here, which I think he's trying to make sure that guy's clearing out. That guy that we saw here running the clear out route, I think that's where his eyes are. If not, they're right here on Hurst going across. So Hurst, he's in, he's in Hurst's hip pocket. So if he throws this ball to Hurst, it would have to be like 99% perfect because he's trying to undercut that. Now, coming off Hurst, coming to Andrews. So I think this is his third progression. Andrews clears this guy and now starts to separate from 25. Now, Andrews is open. That's NFL open. That's it. That's more than NFL open. Ball's a little high. See if the mechanics got something to do with it being high. No. Good mechanics right there. Shoulders pointed toward where you're going with the ball. Step into it. Throw. Maybe didn't maybe didn't follow through like he wanted to. Maybe. But I can't really tell because of the camera. But the lower part of the body looks good. The lower part of the body looks good. High throw. 
And Andrews normally makes that. Andrews normally makes this catch. And I don't know if... I just don't know. I don't know if he... that The injury didn't allow him to get up. Because he looks as if he's barely off the ground. And... You know, it's the first turnover that led to their first touchdown. Points off turnovers. Points off turnovers. And I didn't even look at the the time possession to see if we won time possession. That's that's how disgusted I've been. All right, the second play. Second play is look at it, fourth and one. It's fourth and one. tough to even watch. It's tough to even watch. All right. They're running the quarterback something. Is this quarterback power? I think it's quarterback power. Now, if this is quarterback power, why is, what's Gus's role? Should Lamar have passed, handed this ball off? I'm confused. What is Gus doing? Gus took steps like he was going to get this ball. So did Lamar just take this upon himself to go? Even with that being said, if he did, which I, I don't advocate people doing their own thing because it's a team game. Hit it here. Hit it here. Bowman's going to get one of these guys, and then you can outrun the other. Because Ricard's doing work. Ricard's doing work. Look at look at the opening. And if you come around like you're supposed to, Bozeman gets one of these guys, and then you got the opportunity to outrun the other. And if he makes the tackle, it's on the other side of the line. What do you see up in there? There's nothing there. And I, I don't have his eyes. I, I just, I'm the casual fan. That, I don't see anything there. Everybody has the leverage on people. Everybody has the leverage they should have. I just... I don't see it. I don't see it. And another thing, I no, Shannon, Shannon Sharp also said something that um, I agree with too. He said that in this game, he actually tried to prove he was the MVP. He never really uh, tried to be the guy, you know, before or any games. But in this game, he actually tried to, you know, prove he was an MVP. Because I think this is first, – the first play was unfortunate. This play, I think, was him doing too much. And I said it during the, the live stream. I mean, not the live stream, during the game. I think he's trying to do too much. Especially after the second, fourth one. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But didn't get this fourth down. And very next play. Pow. This cat had 88 yards passing and won the game. And this is 41 of them. No, 46 of them. It's 46. Now, obviously that's a deep pass to number 14 that barely even got snaps. So, we start off in a two-share look. I don't know what... What... Um, Earl's responsibility was. Marlon's outside. So are we going to roll to three and let Earl come down? Or did Earl just do something on his own that's supposed to be cover four? Not sure. So Earl decides to come down. No threats up here, so that's why Marcus is not dropping. Uh, Chuck's looking run. Marlon's here. All right, immediately when Earl realizes he don't have that ball, kind of like an oh, oh shit turn to me. But at this point right now, right here, uh, Marlon Humphrey is screwed because he's, he, he's about to get in Humphrey's blind side and stick him and go on about his business. So, there it is, right there. Now, Clark really was held a little bit by this guy. Let's go back and see Clark. Clark got a releasing tight end. And he's trying to get deep. I'm really confused as to what the coverage 
was is this three or it should have been four because he's at Marlon's outside leverage and your linebackers getting where your other linebacker at one of them blitzed peanut blitz I think that's peanut the other one's dropping I just don't know but anyway good route by 14 because at this point Marlon used done he was done for. He in your blind spot, and when you snap your head around, he gone. That's it right there. Now, if it's three, why Chuck in the middle of the field? That's why I don't think it's three. I think it, it was uh, two or four. And I, I want to say this guy kind of did his own thing. Maybe. And this is Earl. Not sure. So don't quote me. Don't don't say, you know, Coach Evans said Earl Thomas was wrong because I wasn't in the meeting room. I don't know the cause. I just can go by what I see on film. But, um... Sudden change. And at this point, I was in the stadium, but I couldn't hear anything from the crowd. Before this, I, the crowd was, I could hear everything through the TV. After this, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Just, I don't know. I don't, I, I can't say who's wrong. I just know Marlon got turned around right here. That blind spot again. Whoop, whoop. That's it. Great. Great throw and even better catch. Great throw and even better catch. All right. And the last play that kind of got me where I am today. And, one, you know, the reason I thought that. Just, just let me roll the play. Four than one. Now, my football tenure, most most quarterback sneaks go right up the center's uh, butt or one of these A gaps. One of these A gaps. And so, if this guy sitting in this A gap, this guy in the B gap, why not go right there? That like common sense to me. One plus one is two. One plus one, two yards. Two yards. Now, why? I don't give a crap about him. You trying to get one yard. He's already two to three yards deeper. Okay, one yard. Get in that crease, dive forward, lay forward. That's it. That's it. I don't care about him patting his feet now. Now, obviously, they Tennessee slanted. Tennessee slanted. Still, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Don't let him read you. Go get it. Go forward. Why are we going east to west? North and south. North and south. North and south. You know these guys are going to go low to take up your lineman. So your linebacker is going to be free. Your linebackers are going to be free. Mm. They did a good job of submarining. Did a good job of submarining. But if you take it, take it and just go over right there. Just go over right there. Go over right there. You ain't trying to give it one yard. One yard is all we want. That's all we want. One yard. And then, another thing. When you do decide to go out here, just go. These cats can't catch you. Just go. And if he catch you, so be it. Two bad decisions. Two bad decisions. Two bad decisions. As much as I love our quarterback, he is probably the second best quarterback in the league. But no, I'll take that back. That's a bold statement. You think about that. He's probably the, the fourth or fifth best quarterback in the league. Right now. Well, <laughs> yeah, right now. Um, I think he tried to do too much on them two plays. Especially those two fourth downs. I think he tried to do too much. I think he tried to do too much. And, um... 
I really don't have much to say about that. It's on to 2020 now. Um, draft stuff will begin soon. And um, still got a couple more Raven videos I'm going to put out, though. I know I'm, I'm going to do the um, Henry's Big Runs and see how our gap integrity was on those big runs. And um, in fact, I'm going to work on I'm going to start working on that now. It's Coach Evans with Central Tally Film since Raven's Roundup. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Sip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Sip to Tally. Yeah. <laughs>